Hello and welcome. I am the Student High Dip and Chew Guy, and this is the opening video for a new playlist. The playlist will be titled Seeds. And when I say seeds, I mean sunflower seeds. Just to clear up any confusion that may be out there, sunflower seeds. So this will be a new series. This opener is to also act as a how-to. So what you're going to need, you're going to need a bag of sunflower seeds. The reviews on this playlist will be of different bags. We will be starting out with the David's line. There are 12 products in total in a short while. This particular bag, the original jumbo will be reviewed. As far as David's go, I will only be doing the jumbo variants. Tell you the truth, the original, original sizes, I don't see as being long for this world. But I don't also see much of a point of doing them in general because the jumbos are a far superior product and the flavor-wise, the, 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 the depth of their line is all in jumbo, okay? So you're gonna need a bag of sunflower seeds and you need a receptacle. Now, a keg cup, a plastic cup will do. You need something with a wide mouth, all right? I use a roadie, to tell you the truth, with no funnel. The reason I do this, because it's straight down, it's an easy clean. Um, you don't wanna use a mud jug classic because of the curvature of the bowl and also the weight in the bottom. There's a seam line around that weight that stuff can get jammed into. That and it's harder to dump out. So this is what I use, which is odd because I'm now using a roadie basically every day, at night anyway, which is when I chew, eat sunflower seeds. Um, so Rody, I, I've repeatedly said through previous reviews and whatnot, the Rody I hardly ever use because I don't drive and thus I don't really have a need for it, you know, because it's made to sit in a cup holder and no car, no cup holder. But now I use it every day. So you're going to take, and this is the how-to part, you don't want to overpack your cheek. I see people like putting like, like a 1950s ball player size cheek of seeds in. If you want to tear up your gums and your cheek, by all means, have at. You want to put a small size. If you don't want to take on mouth damage, you want to take a smaller amount. Now, I do know you're seeing the ranch here because I already had this one open. I take a smaller amount in general. You can put more in over time as your mouth gets used to the salt and whatnot, but I wouldn't, I would definitely not do it off the bat, and I try not to do it at all. I don't want to take mouth damage because it doesn't work out too well if you dip. Note that, that is important, okay? So what I do is I take a small bit and as of late, I can do it either side, but as of late, I've been holding over here. Once in, I take one at a time over to this side and with the molars here, I put the seed on end and bite down. It cracks the shell and the seed comes out. I expel the shell, eat the seed, repeat. Okay, so I'm holding over here, bringing one at a time over here, putting them on end, biting down with my molars. It breaks the shell open, the seed comes out, you expel the shell, chew the seed. So, what does that look like? Now, I'm not going to pour this out in my hand. Uh, am I? Because I do need you to see. Now, um, you know what? Because I normally pour out of the bag into my mouth. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay. That's the most I put in. 
if you look like some like 1950s ball player with chew in or like a jazz trumpetist from like 1948 then you have too much in your mouth so bring in one over And then repeat and that's what it looks like all the way through now I'm a little self-conscious right now being filmed normally this doesn't involve any thought it's automatic it might be a little difficult and and I bring this up the how-to part because I see some goofy stuff that people do with sunflower seeds like like somebody, like the one person that took them on their mouth, basically s soaked up all the salt off them, then spits them out in their hand, no less, and then eats them one by one. Then you have the guys that put a bunch in and just start chewing the shells and everything and spitting everything out. Now, if you do that, if that's your thing, okay, whatever, I guess. But you're not really eating anything at that point. You're not getting the protein count, although it is low. You're not getting anything out of it. You're just spitting crap all over the place. And that's that. So the review of the Jumbo Original will be coming in short order here. I am running a little bit behind tonight. But I should be back shortly. I do hope you all are well. Do take care of yourselves. And as always, God bless.